Let's give it up for Mr. Dale Jones, y'all. Awesome. Hi. This is cool. I'm in a theater. I used to bag groceries for a living, and I'm in a theater. That is so cool. I called it bagging groceries. The police called it shoplifting. <laughs> this, this, is, this is weird for a reason. I, I'm not good at meeting people. I get nervous. I always give out too much information. I don't mean to. It just blows out this hole in my face, you know? <laughs> And just walk up to somebody and be like, hi, what's your name? I have a prescription. <laughs> right? And then the voice in my head kicks in. You got to connect with them, Dale. Tell them your hobbies. I like to sit on the toilet till my legs go numb. <laughs> have you tried it? It's awesome. Here's what I do. I sit on the toilet for about 20 minutes, and then I stand up, my legs wobble like this, right? Then I see how far I can run before I fall down. And then I measure that distance because I'm trying to beat my record. What I'm trying to tell you is that I like to smell markers. It's okay. I'm more scared of you than you are of me. I'm serious, I got beat up so much when I was a kid, I still carry lunch money. <laughs> you know how sad that is? I'm a grown man. Anybody in here looks at me cross-eyed, I will make it rain. <laughs> this morning, I was brushing my teeth, saw myself in the mirror. Stranger danger! <laughs> Just not... I always wanted to be a fighter. I thought I saw Bruce Lee. I was a little kid. He was cool, right? He was skinny like me. He went like that. He looked awesome. I did that, and I pooped a little. <laughs> it still worked. The, bu the bullies left me alone. <laughs> it I have very high hips. My mom still thinks if this job doesn't work out, I should join the Army. And I'm like, look at me. I'm not Army material. I'm barely Salvation Army material. I'd have been in the middle of a war ringing a bell. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. If you're going to be mean, put a dollar in the bucket. I'm not a fight. I wouldn't even know what to say to a terrorist. I'd be like, halt, stop. You guys want some gum? Because you're going you're to have to unwrap your face or you ain't going to be able to blow bubbles. Right? Here's, you know you're weird when a hitchhiker looks at you and goes, that's okay, I'll take the next one. Yeah. It's, 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 my parents aren't proud either. It's okay. I drove my dad nuts, right? When I was a little boy, he built me a tree house, and after I climbed in it, he took the ladder. <laughs> I, I, did, I drove him nuts. I'm six, right? My dad goes, what are you gonna be when you grow up, Dale? I'm like, I don't. Mailbox. <laughs> but I was serious. I was out there every morning. That's when the mailman quit coming to our house. <laughs> he just drove by, dad's yelling at him, come back, he's an intern. <laughs> Dang it, Dale, put your flag up. <laughs> <It's> a, <dude. laughs> I, <laughs> I don't sleep well. Don't ever go to bed and count sheep either, because when I got done counting three were missing, I spent the rest of the night forming a search party. <laughs> I was so worried about these sheep, it turned my whole dream into an episode of Law and Order. <laughs> but it was a weird episode, right? Because I'm showing pictures of sheep to other sheep. <laughs> so I'm like, have you seen this, you? <laughs> Look at you when I'm talking to you. 
I, I don't have ADD. I know you think I do. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I don't, because I went to school in the 70s and 80s, and back then, they didn't have it. <laughs> right? ADD had not been invented yet. At all. You know what they called ADD in 1984? Stupid. <laughs> I heard that every day, and then I'd have to sit in the hallway and think about something I did that I'd already forgot. <laughs> Joke's on them. I learned more in that hallway than I learned in home mech. You know what I learned? I learned if you take a pencil and you put a piece of gum on the end of it and you throw it up on the ceiling and you watch it, after a while, you're going to need an eye patch. <laughs> you should see the show in here. I... I don't know why my wife married me either. I just know when my mom met her, she took her hand and she goes, you are doing the Lord's work. That's all. What I'm trying to say is that my mom shook me when I was small. And I'm glad, I am, I'm glad, because now I scare people when I'm putting gas in my car. Here's what I do. I pretend the gas is going through the hose real fast. And I go, wait, 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 wait. This is super. Right? Now, next time you go to the airport, do that in the body scanner. Just stand there. Just... Turn it off. It burns. It burns. Yeah. They're going to put me in a body scanner and then tell me they're going to look at me naked. Well, then I'm going to put on a show. Thank you all.